YouTube, this is Scott. Today I'm exploring the little town of Athens, or Athens as locals pronounce it. It's a little town that was established about 1780s, just outside of Boone Station, just down the road, about, probably about 10 miles from Fort Boone, which now is Boonesboro. Uh, it's just a little small town, it's quiet. There's a few of the buildings that are from the late 1700s, early 1800s still existing. Most of the town was destroyed by fire in the 1850s and 1860s. There's a few left. I'll turn the camera around, that way you can see what's left. Here's the main intersection, athens Boonesboro Road and North Cleveland Road. Here's some of the older buildings. This building here, it, it's a log cabin that's been covered by vinyl siding. I'm not sure which one this is. I was looking online and said there's two two-story cabins that are some of the original structures. I don't know if this is which one this is. One of them was Dr. Parker's house and the other one just is listed as a, as a, uh, a two-story log cabin. But it also said it was covered by clapboard, which is what they used before vinyl siding. And this one's a two-story log cabin covered by vinyl siding now, so either way, this is probably the oldest house existing in Athens. Built, uh, I believe it said, probably 1780s, early 1800s. And next to it are two brick structures that were built probably very late 1700s, early 1800s, maybe as late as 1820. These may have been, there's two ends listed. Again, I'll post in the description, the links. It has a little bit of history about the little town. So, I don't know if these are the ends or if one of them's a tavern, because there's a little tavern that still exists, which may be up here, I'll show you. Let's go up this way. I was actually here last week, along with Boone Station, but the camera was so shaky, well I was just shaky, made the camera look so bad, I couldn't watch the videos, so I decided to come this weekend and redo the videos. Try something a little different to make the quality a little better. I'm still learning how to do this, and I'm using a phone, so it's a little hard. This building here used to be a store. I'm not sure the age on it, but I'd say it's probably early, mid-1800s. <clears throat> old 70s boom truck, kind of cool. If you look over here, you see there's an old well, well head. Used to be a house here one time, there's a sidewalk. Oh, I forgot about these. I'll show you these old gate posts. Old wrought iron gate posts, those are fancy. I've not seen any like this before. I don't know how old those would have been. There's two corner posts. One of them's over here by that house. That ends by this old store. Let's go up here. There's a corner post. Not as fancy, but still, for a fence post, that's something else. Notice a little design there. Anyway, here's the old store. I don't know which, this building here may have been the tavern. I'm not sure. Let this car pass. I'm trying to get run over down here. A little small town, there's quite a bit of traffic going through here. See, this is a business now. <clears throat> There's another view of this old store. So most of these buildings, they're from the uh, probably very early 1800s. So they didn't really give me good dates. I probably could have went to the PVA's website and looked up the dates on them, but. I didn't do that because Fayette County decided they want to charge you to do that. 
automotive repair. Let's walk up here, go across the road, see so y'all can see the front of the building. At least these buildings have been placed on the historic register. Sometimes it protects them, sometimes not. A lot of traffic. Everybody's probably looking at me like I'm crazy. But it's okay. If you go down this road, that's how you get to Boone Station. Just right down the road. Probably, I don't know, five minutes by car. Stay in the middle of the road for a minute. Here's the old store. Kind of cool looking building. Here's the other one. The sun's probably, I can't see the video very well. It's not how the sun's affecting it. Building's got a lot of neat stuff, looks like, inside. Just kind of left it. Here's the two buildings that possibly were the ends. They also have markers on them that have been placed on the National Register. Here's just one that's a two story log cabin. You can see the logs on the foundation. I'll take you up here and show you. It looks like somebody's been remodeling it. Some tools and things inside. You can see the logs or not. Got hand huge logs. Here's a better one up here. logs. They had to put strips of wood on top of them to attach the siding. Hand cut stones. A lot of work went into that. A lot harder to build a building back in the day. They had all the power tools. View down the road. More locals. Looks like I'm crazy. We'll try this. <laughs> See how good I am at driving a video at the same time. I want to kind of show you all these stone walls at mines. This is Athens Boonesboro Road. I actually drove a little further out, but I couldn't find a spot to pull over to get my my phone was stuck on camera instead of video, so I had to find a spot to pull over to switch it. I didn't want to try to do it while I was driving. But I kind of wanted to show you this little narrow road here. I hope you don't get motion sickness because it's a little crooked road. But you can see all the stone wall, Man, what's left of some of them. Some of them's gone, some of it's still there. There's a lot of hard work people put into building these walls, assuming it was property boundaries and maybe to line the road so people actually knew where the road was. A common misconception about these walls were, especially here, where they were built by slaves. They weren't. They were built by stonemasons. A lot of times they were brought over from Ireland and Scotland and other parts of Europe. 
<clears throat> the uh, I don't know how to tell how old the stone walls are because I think it depends on the regions but I think for here in central Kentucky majority of the ones that are dry laying beings without mortar are the earlier ones and then of course later on they started using mortar and concrete you see these are being reconstructed they've been fixed <clears throat> but the, the dry lane I dried laid generally are the older ones but I'm sure you can find articles on the walls online I actually think there's some books that's been written on how to tell how old the walls are but I'm not I'm not really sure I know that uh, they're all over Central Kentucky as well as the southeast and I've actually saw some when I worked up in Massachusetts that instead of being cut limestone like ours they were huge boulders and some of those boulders were large but around here most of them's cut limestone and a lot of times you can see where the quarries were they're ponds now but you can see where the stone's been cut out because it doesn't look like it's a natural pond I'd say most, either the road's been moved or a lot of times these stone walls they were well, they were laid right next to the roads and when the roads were paved for automobiles a lot of times they would just use the stone for fill because that time people weren't really concerned about preserving them looks like I've run out of stones well we're getting ready to get to Athens so I guess I've run out of stones oh I'll show you this though I saw this coming in I'll slow down another old log cabin this may be the one that's from the 1700s, late 1700s. And that other may have been Dr. Parker's house. I'm trying to get run over. Little town of Athens. Get up here to stop sign and, oh look. Little Chinook. Those are cool. Yeah, sorry about that little restaurant I think it says it's closed now yeah it's closed shame oh look tricycle tractor no John Deere that's cool oh it's a putt-putt tractor what they used to call hit and miss I'm somebody that knows more about tractors could tell you but I think they um, one cylinder will hit and the other one misfires and then the other cylinder will hit I think it's like two cylinder my grandfather had one and I remember helping him start it anyway well that's it for this video like I said I just want to show you a little bit of the stone walls again if you like what I'm doing subscribe thumbs up comments and if y'all have any pointers on how to do better videos be sure to let me know I'm eager to learn thanks we'll see you next time bye well that's it for Athens Kentucky again if you like what I'm doing Click subscribe, click the thumbs up. If you don't like it, click the thumbs down. But let me know why. But be nice. I'm still learning how to do this. And like I said, I'm using a phone and a selfie stick, so I don't have any fancy equipment. But that's it for these spots. We'll see you again. Thanks. Bye. This is Main Street, Athens, Kentucky. There's only a few buildings left from the original town. Uh, during the 1850s, 1860s, a fire came through and burnt almost everything down. But one time, this was a decent-sized town. <clears throat> this building here, you see, it's got vinyl siding now, but it was originally a two-story log cabin. If this is the one I'm thinking of, it was built during the 1780s. So it possibly is the oldest surviving building in Athens. And then the two buildings adjacent to it, they're brick, and I think they were built in the 1820s, 1870s, 1820s, is what the information I have is. Here I'll show you, you can see a little bit of the old hand cut <clears throat> logs. It's cold out here, so you have to excuse me. So the old logs behind the vinyl siding. So like I said, this may be from the 1780s.
Here's the other two buildings. These two buildings have plaques that are on the National Register of Historic Places. I'll post down in the description some information about Athens where you could read a little bit more history about it. These two buildings here, I was reading that surviving buildings, one of them was a tavern and the other one was a store. I don't know which was which. This one's uh, abandoned now. Like I said, they, they were built uh, around the early 1800s. You see, it's a busy, busy, little, busy little street. If you go down that way, that's where Boone Station is. One of my other videos. Here's this one. Like I said, I don't know which one of these is a tavern. Possibly that one. I'm not sure. I'd like to get inside that building. Looks like there's a lot of cool stuff in there. Just kind of peep through the windows. But I'm not doing that. Check out the door. Pretty nice. It looks like somebody shot at it. It's like shotgun. Possibly. See, she's in bad shape. There's the other buildings. Oh, show you this old iron fence, fence post. I'm assuming there must have been a house here at one time. The only thing's left is the corner post. And here would have been the gate. Very fancy. I don't think I've ever seen any like this. Two of them. So this must have been the gate to the house. Sidewalk. There's part of the old water well. And up here on the corner, you see there's another on the corner post. Well, nice, quiet little town. I said it's not, not that far from Lexington. Like I said, I'll put down in the description the information about uh, the town so you can read about the history about it. And that does it for Athens, Kentucky. If you like what I'm doing, hit subscribe. Hit thumbs up. Thanks again. Bye.